Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 143. We look up the rates, but not to exceed max in some cases. All right, Mike. Hey, here's a uh, doozy sent in uh, from YouTube, I think. Um, said they watched our VLOOKUP week videos, but uh, still trying to solve this uh, problem. So we have an item category here, right, with data validation. Over here, uh, this was actually on another sheet, but I brought it back, is a list of all the categories and the fees. So the fee is uh, this 99 quid times the VLOOKUP to get the uh, right percentage. But for some of the categories, there's a max amount. And so for those four categories, then we want to make sure that this calculation doesn't exceed that. And I'm thinking, um, trying to figure out, uh, am I going to use is blank? I'm going to look V lookup max. Uh, I'm going to send it over to you and see what you have first. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, uh, I'm not so sure I have an elegant, compact way to do this. I'm, I'm just going to have to slap a bunch of V lookups into one cell. Uh, you know, and if you look at this table, it's this third column here that's the trigger, right? It's either got nothing in it or a max amount. So I'm going to start with VLOOKUP and look up that third column. So I'm going to highlight the F4, comma, third column, and then comma zero for exact match. Now what will happen is those empty cells will return a zero. Double click and send that down. Now I'm going to use that in the VLOOKUP logical test because any non-zero number like 40, 10 will be true, any zero will be false. So I'm going to hit F2 and I'll use that as the trigger if, right? Because we have two situations. We either need to compare the max to whatever the calculation is or we just run the straight bloop, this. Now running the just the percentages where there's no max that's going to be the value if false. So the value if true, hey, I need the min of either control V, either I meant to copy this, copy, either control V uh, from the second. So we're going to get that percentage from this column here and multiply it by this. Or the second min value will be control V. We're looking up the item, the max value from the third column. So when I close off the min, I'm back and these screen tips are awesome. Value if true. Now I type a comma and the value if false. Oh, I have to run the VLOOKUP again. So this will be from the second column times one cell to my left. Now technically what will happen is that it will run the VLOOKUP in the logical test. If it's false, it will have to run VLOOKUP twice. If it's true, it'll have to run VLOOKUP one, two, three times plus a min. All right, control enter and copy it down. And so it looks like here, instead of getting whatever the percentage for furniture is, 10% times 855, it went ahead and got the 40 bucks. The rest of them look okay too. All right, send it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, all right, Mike, I love that using the VLOOKUP of the third column as the logical test. If it's blank, it turns into a zero, which becomes a false. Uh, otherwise, we have the uh, a value and we have to go look at the min. Now, I have a, a different approach to this. I'm going to start off a little bit simpler uh, where we just simply calculate the fee. The fee is uh, the VLOOKUP of this category into this table, F4, comma, 2, comma, false, times the sales price. All right, so we'll copy that down. And for every category, we're taking the sales price times the fee associated with that category. And uh, you know that's step one. Now, step two is sometimes we have to apply the max amount. And I don't like sometimes. I want formulas to be able to work all the time, not just sometimes. So uh, this is eBay, right? These are eBay categories and eBay fees and eBay max amounts. Um, well, the, you know, these items that don't have a max amount, they, they really, truly do have a max amount. I mean, come on, face it, you've shopped eBay before. What's the largest purchase you've ever made at eBay? There, there certainly is a max amount. Like, there would never be a fee that's more than 99, 99, 999. Um, 
that would mean that you sold something for um, not just 99 million pounds, but 99 million pounds divided by 11 percent, almost a billion dollars. I've never seen anything at eBay being sold for a billion dollars. So let's just put that max amount in there. And then for every category, we can assume that there is a max and we treat all the categories the same. I also want to take a step back and explain why we use the min to figure out uh, if we've hit the max or not. So here's just a fictitious calculation. We have numbers here and uh, we have eBay saying, well, hey, the max this calculation can be is 750. So what's the answer? The logical way that most people would think about this is equal if, if the max is less than the calculation, then we use the max. Otherwise, we use the calculation. I think that makes sense to a lot of people. That That's just how we, we think about it. We look at this uh, and choose one or the other. Well, it turns out that these answers here are the exact same answers we would get if we use the min of the two items. So that one's the same, 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 same. And r what we're doing here is we're setting up kind of a race, all right? And we want to see who has the lowest score. And in this case, 685 versus 750, which one is lowest? It's the calculation is lowest, that's what wins. But here where the calculation is 890 versus 750, uh, the 750, which is in the column called max, is the fastest score, lowest score, and so it wins in the min. So the min is uh, a shorter way to do this calculation, and we don't have uh, all of the extra, uh, in, a, in essence, there's four references here and only two references there. Some might argue that that's one reference, but it's it's two cells in that one reference. So. Coming back here, we have our calculation, uh, and for every single category, we're going to look for uh, this uh, min of the original calculation, comma, uh, and then the max for that category. So VLOOKUP of, oh, I have to press F2 there to go back into point mode of that category, go over three columns, F4, comma, three, comma, false. Parenthesis to close the VLOOKUP, parenthesis to close the MIN, and double click to shoot that down. And you see that some of these items, like the 855 times 10%, uh, changed to $40 because of the MIN. Uh, the other items, which uh, never got close to the max, they stayed exactly the way that they were. So by coming back here to this table, adding in the really big numbers, numbers that are larger than any number that could possibly happen from this calculation, we get to use one set of logic uh, instead of having to test for both sets of logic. So there you have it. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.